Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into the dirtiest deck inside of Clash Royale right now that every Clash Royale pro hates, and that's going to be the Royal Recruit Barbarian Hut deck that is seen to be one of the most skillless decks in all of Clash Royale. Now, for pro players, that might be annoying that they play players who use this deck, but for plebs like me and maybe you who aren't the best of the game, we can use this deck for as much success as possible, and let's go and try that out right now. So you got Barbarian Hut, Royal Recruits. Honestly, there's no legendary card inside of this deck so anyone can pick it up and play it only one epic card which is going to be the barbarian barrel and uh, i'm going to show you guys some action using this inside of the ladder right now and let's go and see if we can pick up some dubs guys royal recruits are back seven elixir if you didn't see the most recent set of balancing changes and that seven elixir they're turning into a nuisance like they used to be in the old days looks like we do have a cheeky little minor player who's going to play before everything really happens he's going to use all of a bunch of elixir right here to go on in actually wasn't that much elixir i should probably play a little bit more attention but i'm just so confident that we're going to win this battle that i'm not even going to mess around all right some goblins going in we're not going to worry about those we're going to go ahead and plop our barbarian hut down and uh, i'm going to go ahead and let this barbarian hut go in i have a feeling he could be playing mortar so this might be an issue for us i'm going to let these barbarians run forward and uh, let's see what glory is going to end up playing and if he has something to deal with the rest of this push okay hog rider is going to be the name of the game let's go ahead and fireball that down the one barbarian that could is going to turn around and put in some work against this hog rider barbarians flying forward already we're starting to pick up a decent little elixir lead right here and let's just go ahead and play our battle ram and test out what he has minor going down against this bar but is not going to end very well for him i think that was the rest of his elixir and i think that's going to be the end of tower number one and the control is going to be played down the lane all right glory played that way too aggressively right there so we're able to pick it up we haven't even played our royal recruits yet which is the card i'm most excited to bring out for you guys but royal recruits just being so strong defensively and with so much potential for a counter push I think Glory is going to be in a little bit of trouble. All right, let's go and rewind. I'm going to use our archers in the back. Let's go ahead and reset. I'm going to get my royal recruits ready because I want to use them on this most or on this next coming push. I have a feeling he might have quit out from this game, guys. And uh, let's just go ahead and slap our royal recruits down this lane and figure out what we have. All right, our boy Glory playing the Hog Rider Minor spam deck is going to end up taking an L and run away from what we have going on right here. By the way, another thing I didn't like about this update is how they changed the shield. You can see for my Royal Recruits, the color of their HP for both the shield and the regular HP is the same. I don't really like it. I think Supercell needs to switch that back. But 27 trophies for this one right here. And let's go ahead and move on. All right. Looks like we're going to pick up our Clash Quest. Let's go ahead and get into our next matchup right now. And let's see if we can keep dominating. I want to use the Royal Recruits effectively on defense inside of this one. But again, using this deck, apply your Barbarian Hut to the map to just go ahead and uh, pick up a little bit of pressure. Use your Royal Recruits to make some ridiculous positive elixir trades on defense. And rinse and repeat. That's all it is. Your Battle Ram is your win condition if you need it. But a lot of the times, you're just going to spam down your opponent with the crazy amount of stuff that you have. And Speaking of spam, it looks like we've got a Barbarian Hut on Barbarian Hut matchup, which is I'm sure what you guys wanted when you logged into YouTube today. All right, let's let it go on in. Barbarian's going to win with the Archer having their back, plus the uh, Arena Tower. I'm going to let this Mega Minion fly on in, see if we can potentially get it angled with a Fireball. doesn't look like it's going to happen, so I'm just going to calm down right here. Uh, moving on forward, he's going to play his Giant, which is an easy Royal Recruit for me. I'm going to let that roll through. Five Royal Recruits coming down this lane means that I can go ahead and use my Gang. Actually, I should have played a Fireball instead of that Gang. Oh, he's going to end up playing that as well. The only issue is this Mega Minion over the top is putting in work, and we really don't have a great way to deal with it. So I'm going to use my Dark Goblin. He's going to arrow. We're going to go ahead and reset, and I'm confident that with a better organized push this time and something to kill this Mega Minion, I think we're going to be able to overrun him and probably be able to win this game. The Royal Recruits are so effective against the giant just being able to throw down uh, what we need against the giant makes it pretty easy i'm gonna let these barbarians come on out and go ahead and sl slap our ram down this lane ram's gonna go ahead and head on in i'm gonna use our barbarian barrel as well looks like his dark knight's gonna go in. dark knight dark prince is gonna go in but that's not gonna be enough to knock that down for him and uh, we can go ahead and get ready with our royal recruits here they go royal recruits against a giant mega minion plus a uh a dark prince let's go ahead and use our archers royal recruits gonna start cleaning up defensively right here we took a couple of giant hits maybe a little bit more than what we wanted but look at the royal recruits down the other lane putting in some work onto that tower all right all that he invested right there i played my royal recruits they dominated defensively they went for a counter push down that right hand side that tower is at 2318 and it's already looking so good for us all right another barbarian hut on his end we'll go ahead and counter with our own barbarian hut this is going to effectively wreck his giant it's going to wreck the rest of his push and all we have to do is continue doing what we're doing. I'm going to let my barbarians go ahead and clean up right now. 
Get ready on this side, just go ahead and play a Battle Ram actually to keep this pressure applied. Um, I do have a Fireball, which I could play against the Archers by chance. He's going to have to play a Log on that side, which opens me up to play my, uh, my uh, Dark Goblin right here. I'm also going to play my Royal Recruits as well. He's going to go so aggressive. I'm going to play my Goblin Gang. I know he wants to play a Mega Minion, but he doesn't have arrows right now. He doesn't have his Log, and I'm going to follow with my Fireball and really to try to apply some more pressure down this lane. He has to drop his Dark Prince in the very end, which is going to end up working for him. But now we have a, a, a free uh, Barbarian Hut going down this lane. I can get my Archers going on in. I'm also going to just throw a Barbarian Barrel. And I guess we missed the Giant, but I'm going to kill these Archers at the very least. Lightning Spell going down means I can use a Dark Goblin free of charge. And I can go ahead and reset in a moment. Or actually, why don't we just go ahead and use our Battle Ram. I'm going to use Royal Recruits down this lane. I actually have no idea what I'm doing right now. He has to log that other lane. He's going to play a Battle Ram instead. I'm going to split our Archers. I'm just going to start splitting everything that I have right now. I'm going to play my Fireball against this. I'm going to get ready to throw my Dark Goblin down this lane. We are applying pressure all over the map right now. Dark Goblin, Archers, plus that Royal Recruit going down on this lane. Archer plus that Royal Recruit going to take it down within Fireball range. And all we need to do now is steal this dub with ease. Let's go ahead and play our Barbarian Hut up here. I probably could have played it in a way that didn't give him Fireball value, but guys, it is what it is. Let's play our Archers on this side. Getting back to our Fireball. Wait, Fireball just 292. Actually, we're not within Fireball range. That's a little bit sad. All right, let's get ready with our Recruits. Recruits are going to be our game changers right here. That Barbarian Hut was a little bit bad by me. I'm not going to lie. Let's get our Dark Goblin going in. Please don't Prediction Log. It looks like he won't. He's going to play another Giant right now. And he's probably going to slap down some arrows too. There go the arrows. Giant's going to go ahead and perish in the rest of this push. I'm going to use our Battle Ram. I'm going to go and fireball these archers now that we have finally have fireball value on the map. The Battle Ram is going to sprint towards the tower for GG. Well played. And we're going to end up taking that win. Things got a little bit hairy towards the end. I didn't know how to finish off the game. And my fireball math was uh, not the greatest to cap that one off. I'm going to start opening up this gold chest. And let's get into our next matchup. I still have all of my star level points, by the way. Um, and my star, or my star points. I don't really know what to spend them on. I'm just going to sort of leave them there for now and, and move my way forward. Easy play right here for the Barbarian Hut. Just going to go ahead and use our Barbarian Barrel plus our, uh, plus our uh, uh, what is it, Barbarian Hut and to be able to take that out. Looks like he's got his Mega Minion. Let's go ahead and clean that up before we get any more issues. I'm hoping he's a little low on Elixir and he doesn't have something to take my Archers out, which it looks like that'll happen. And now we've got a Barbarian Hut applying pressure with half of its lifespan left. We have some Archers, which are going to move forward as well. It looks like he actually has to go ahead and play his Barbarians. And that's going to be a nice and juicy trade for us, guys. So what we're going to go ahead and do is throw a Battle Ram down this lane. My Barbarians are going to pop out and win this war on the other side. Waiting for what he's going to do, which is going to end up being a Knight. He has to play so many cards right there to try to take it out. I'm going to use my Goblin Gang since he did just cycle his tiny spell. And this is going to lead to him playing his arrows for another heavy investment. And I can go ahead and just follow, follow up with my Dark Goblin down this lane. So right now, we're just pressuring him out and making him spend Elixir that he doesn't want to spend. That Dark Goblin is going to chunk that tower down. Goblin gang has to go down that lane let's get another barbarian hut ready and really just try to put in some work now i can use my royal recruits defensively but that's going to be something i play a little bit later on in this match we'll get our barbarian hut down for now to slap down this hog rider we're going to take I think two Hog Rider hits, that's going to be it against that <laughs> against that Barbarian Hut. So it's a three Elixir Barbarian Hut in the very end. And this isn't really where Derek wants to be. All right, Archer's going down again. And what I'm going to do now, actually, is get ready with our Battle Ram to follow up this Archer uh, and Barbarian push. I know he does have a uh, Zap, which is going to be a little bit annoying. Let's go ahead and play our Fireball right now, actually. Gets the rest of these Barbarians. Maybe a little bit late, to be honest, but we didn't have the Elixir on hand. We're going to get a couple of hits, which is really that all that matters inside of this matchup. And we're going to continue putting in some work. Now, we still have some more Barbarians popping out in a moment, so don't you worry. One Barbarian's going to run down the lane. That one Barbarian will get a hit, I think, or get really close to getting a hit before he goes down. I can go ahead and play my Barbarian Barrel down against the rest of this. And uh, let's just go ahead and stack another Barbarian up in a moment. He's going to be playing a defensive Hog Rider. What are you doing, Derek? You don't have the Elixir, my friend. That's going to be a very dead Hog Rider. No hits against the tower. My Dark Goblin's going to be going in. My Archer's going to be... Oh, he missed the arrows. Hog Rider's an arrow. He has triple spell, and he's still not going to be able to stop everything we're throwing at him. There goes the Goblin Gang. There goes the Zap. All right, triple spell will be able to stop the rest of this push. You win in the very end, Derek. You got your dream... I'm going to let that roll on through. Let's use our Barbarian Barrel right now against the rest of this, but this one's looking pretty rough. Another Goblin Hut, or Barbarian Hut, going down in the back. What are you going to do, Derek? Dark Goblin going down here. He has to cycle a Fireball. He's going to have to use his arrows in a moment. He is simply spelled out right now, 
And uh, this is not a very fun game of Clash Royale to play. I can tell you guys right now from personal experience, whenever this happens to me, I sort of tuck myself under my covers and cry. And I think that's what's going to be happening to Derek right now as we throw down a fireball to apply some more pressure. Archer's going in right there. So much going in. He has to play <laughs> literally everything he has. I'm going to play a Battle Ram. I'm going to continue the pressure. And Derek, you've met your maker. GG, well played. Guys, can you say skill in Clash Royale? Because I just gave you a master class on how to be the best Clash Royale player in the world. Three straight wins using this Dirty Recruit deck. And if you guys want to pick up some easy wins as well, this is all you have to do. Check it out. You got Archers, ba Battle Ramp, Dark Goblin, Goblin Gang, Royal Recruits, Barbarian Hut, Fireball, and Barbarian Barrel. If you guys want to use your Log, you can use it instead of your Barb Barrel. If you want to throw in some other cards as well, you can go ahead and try to do that. But Royal Recruits, Barbarian Hut, Battle Ramp, Fireball, that is the combo of the century right there. Go ahead and give it a go and let me know what you think inside of the comments section below. That's it for this video today. Let me know what you guys think about the new and improved Royal Recruits inside of Clash Royale. Until next time.